bloke in this room at some point will have worn his speedo swimming costume as underpants when he was young. I bet you do. Yeah, I think that's. Oh, if you need to understand anything else, I'll, I'll tell you when we get there. It's my. Uh, it's my. It's a song called Cobwebs. God, I love this country, but it scares me half to death. Cause you got things that bite and sting might take away my breath. So I shake my shoes and I check the loose and I'm happy doing that. But I never thought that I would find a red back in my hat. Red back is a poisonous spider and I genuinely found a red back. Never thought that I would find a red back in my hat. So that was the chorus. But it changes next time. In fact, it's totally different. So we'll see it again now. Red back. A red back in my hat. A red back. A red back in my hat. I never thought that I would find a red back in my hat. I can't get the whole thing just say I never found my El Dorado. <laughs> well, it's a long way up to Darwin on the road to Humpty Doo. Had a couple of days in a jungle place I was only passing through. So I quickly stripped and I skinny dipped in the bay by the old gum tree. How was I to know there would be crocodiles in the sea? <laughs> I had no idea cro crocodiles in the sea. Nobody told me there were crocodiles in the sea. Actually, they told me when I came out again. How was I to know there would be crocodiles in the sea? Humpty Doo mentioned in that word. It's just a place. I never actually got there. There's a place called Humpty Doo, and I just thought it was a great place name. Um, those of you who don't know, I was up in Australia uh, with that fantastic French singer Flossie Malavial, uh, and when we got to Darwin up in the far north, uh, oh, it's a long involved story, but uh, we basically got the run of this guy's house. The, the folk club organizer had to leave, uh, so we, we just gave left us the keys for the house. And along with the keys there was a, there was a little note saying, uh, it, it's like one stilts in, in a jungle and it said uh, just watch out because there is a 25 foot saltwater crocodile, a salty, that lives under the house <laughs> and can you please feed the dog? <laughs> it really is another world. So, so this one day I, I said to Flossie Flossie, have you seen the dog? <laughs> Flossie? Flossie? <laughs> by the time we got... Oh, let me just tell you this. This keeps... This, I just heckle myself, by the way. Um, this is... This is... Two, uh, 2007 this actually happened. Um, but I start... I, I haven't been telling this story until this time in Australia. And they, they, they kind of thought it was funny, so I'll, I'll tell you lots. 2007 in, in New Zealand, uh, I was staying, I was staying in this hotel, and just before I'd been there, Gaza had been staying. Now this is not a joke. This is absolutely true. Gaza had been at the hotel, uh, and the waiter said he said he came down for breakfast. Gaza did, and he said, uh, "I'll just can I just have bacon and eggs, please?" And the waiter said, "Oh, oh it's we just do continental breakfast. We, I'm afraid we haven't got any bacon." And Gaza said. You haven't got any bacon with all the sheep you've got on this island. <laughs> By the time we got to Alice, we were scarecrows, there's no doubt. I'd bust a shoe at Uluru and my boxes were inside out. <laughs> but when a bloke offered me his spare thongs, 
I look dumbstruck, I suppose. Cause where I come from, we don't wear things like thongs around our toes. Here's your bit. Thongs around our toes. Thongs around our toes. Where I come from, we don't wear things like thongs around our toes. Actually, they're probably doing parts of droid wigs. <laughs> I got bridges still to burn But every place I show this face I've been missing your land so I sing this song about crocs and thongs Cobwebs in my chapeau But it scares me 